Hi folks, this is Alan from MindVisionMedia.net and I hope all is well with you and yours. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about backing up your website um, if you're using WordPress. Um, as you know, that it's not like using HTML based uh, WYSIWYG editors or site builders. Um, you don't really see your content uh, when you go into the back side of your website. In other words, when you're building an HTML website, um, you can actually um, download your files or copy your files to your local hard drive. You can open them up in your whatever browser you use. Um, you can open them up in Word. You can open them up in um, Notepad. And you can see your content. You can see your text, your articles, your paragraphs, your words, your physical words. Um, it's a little different in WordPress. Um, everything is written in PHP. Um, stored in databases and what have you and it can be a really daunting task to try to find your content if something should happen to your site so I'm going to show you today several ways that I use to back up my content um, I have a ton of content on mindvisionmedia.net um, I've got just dozens and dozens of pages um, of content so here's what I do um, one of the main things I do um, I go to my host, which is iPower.com, iPower Hosting. Um, I've been with them for over 10 years, um, and that's just because, hey, they treat me right. I um, have not had any major problems. Um, they resolve my issues. They have 24-7 support, and yada, yada, yada. You can find out more about them um, on my site or uh, you can send me any of your questions regarding that. Anyway, I, I come to iPower, I log in, which I've already done, and here I am inside my iPower um, control panel where I have access to all of my features that come along with my feature-rich hosting package. So what I do is I go into my website section and I locate my MySQL database and now I can access where I can manage my backups, I can view and edit my databases that are running behind my actual website on the server side, on your hosting side um, and so what I'm going to do is go to manage backups and I'm going to select a database you probably need to clarify with your host which database actually holds the content for your active site if you have more than one site which I do so I need to clarify which database is for what site so I'm backing up mindvisionmedia.net and this is the database associated with that and your latest database is right here so I'm gonna click on that and it gives me a little breakdown right here and it's gonna include all tables and it's converting database format for download right now so let's check the status of that and it's quite a huge database for my particular site so it's taking a while um, you can just keep clicking on the refresh button and eventually it will show up um, meanwhile let me check something else there's also an option I'm using the responsive WordPress theme by theme ID uh, for my site in WordPress and under the dashboard in tools you have an option called export and this allows you to choose what to export in this case I want to export all content this will contain all of your post pages comments custom fields terms navigation menus and custom posts so I have that selected and I'm going to be following that procedure next. Let's check on the database and see if it's ready. Okay, it's ready for download as you can see. It has everything in the database. And I'm going to select download. And I'm going to save it on my local computer. And it is done. So that's the first thing that I do is back up my database on my machine the hosting companies usually have backups of your files but they don't do it on a regular basis unless you set up some type of plan 
or um, sign up for something that will do it on a regular basis. In this case, I don't have anything set up with my hosting company to back up my sites on a regular basis. I like to do it myself. Um, I've relied on automated methods in the past and I just prefer to see and actually perform my backup so that I know that they're there and I know where they are. So it's a form of redundancy, but better safe than sorry, believe me. All right, so let's go back to WordPress and I'm inside my dashboard under tools in the responsive theme from theme ID for my WordPress uh, site. And under tools, I have an option called export. And I'm going to select all content and I'm going to click download export file. Now, backups, um, anytime you're dealing with really important stuff, um, there are redundancies built in. Big companies, they don't rely on just one backup. They rely on several backups, and that's what I'm doing in this case to make sure, because when you have a lot of time and uh, content invested in your site, you definitely want to have a little bit of redundancy in your efforts to back up your content and all your hard work. So um, that's number two. So we backed it up from the server side, backed up the actual database for the WordPress site on my server, and we did number two, which is back it up through um, the dashboard in the theme. Uh, themes are all different with WordPress, but you should have these options in whatever theme you're using, an ability to export um, your content to a file, which we did. And now I'm going to go back to my iPower hosting. I'm going to go back to my control panel, VDeck or whatever they want to call it. And I'm going to go to File Manager. Now this will take you to your actual public underscore HTML folder that will have all of your current content and once again everything is in PHP it's different from HTML so if I try to open up one of these you know you're gonna need a, a special program and it's just not the same so what I'm going to do is they offer the option to select all files and they have something called archive. I have all my files selected from my WordPress site which is pretty huge like I stated. I'm going to click archive I'm going to give it a name. This is February and so my backups are usually named with a date so I have WordPress backup 2.22.13 and I'm going to select archive. Now as you can see it's running right now and what this is doing is it's backing up all of my content folders, uh, admin folder, um, everything that's in my HTML directory, public HTML directory for my site. So that is the third action that I am taking to back everything up. And so what I end up with is just, you know, redundancy but again it's like insurance you, you better have it in case something happens and just to tell you a little quick story I did have something happen uh, to my WordPress site and I had to reinstall uninstall and reinstall WordPress altogether on the server side and I lost weeks and weeks of work because I backed up but I I don't know what I just assumed that my uh, hosting company had um, redundant backups and they didn't. The backup they did have and provide for me was a partial set of all of my work but at the time of the crash you know um, they hadn't backed everything up and I hadn't run a complete uh, backup of my content either so I ended up losing you know several weeks of work and had to re redo everything so I learned my lesson the hard way and uh, here I am with my three redundant backup methods and um, this may take a while so this video may end prior to this backup being completed but what I will end up with is a file similar to this right here 
WordPress back up to 1213. That was the last time I backed my site up. I've done a lot of work since then, and it puts it in a zip file. So pretty much everyone's familiar with a zip file. It is a compressed file, um, and the reason it's zipped is to squash it, squeeze it down in size. And this one was 818.76 megabytes pretty close to a gigabyte so that gives you an idea of how much content images video and stuff that I have included in one website that's why it's important to have unlimited bandwidth unlimited data storage content storage on your web hosting uh, service and that's another reason why I use iPower um, I get the biggest bang for my buck with them and um, I have unlimited space to do whatever I want um, so as I stated this may run for quite a while but I, at least I wanted to show you the steps that I take on the server side to back up the website if you have any other for, uh, questions regarding backing up your site especially your WordPress site just contact me through mindvisionmedia.net and this will conclude this video on backing up your content thanks so much